Building a website in 2023 is not hard. Here are seven different website builders that you can use to build your website with zero code. Hi, I'm Hala, and on this channel, we talk about the different tools and software that we can use to automate and improve our lives. So for each website builder, we are going to do three things. We will rate the difficulty to get started with out of five. We'll take a look at some examples of websites you can build with this tool. And then we'll talk a bit about the pricing, how much this would cost to get started with. So without further ado, here are the seven website builders ranked from easiest to get started with to the hardest. The first website builder is Card. This one is super popular among creators on social media, such as TikTok and Instagram. It allows you to build these single page sites, something like this, in fact. So this would be one page that you can use to showcase yourself, showcase your brand, showcase your product, and it is free to get started with. So it's super popular. It would be great to use as a personal website or a landing page for a product. Now, while the simplicity is its main selling point, it also is a limitation because if you want to build something more complex, a more complex website, this would not be the tool for you. However, in terms of simplicity and ease to get started with, I would rate this as one out of five. It's very easy to get started with. All you need to do is sign up for an account and then you can easily have a website. Now, if I were to create a website with card on the free plan, what would happen is it would be hala.card.co. So you would have to have the card part in your domain. Now, if you want to use your own custom domain, so if, for example, I want to ditch the card part in the domain, what I would need to do is I'd have to upgrade into the pro version. So looking at the plans here, you can see here we can upgrade to pro for from just $19 per year. There are different pro tiers. So scrolling down, we can actually take a look at them. There is the pro light, the pro standard and the pro plus. They recommend the pro standard. However, you can use whichever one you want. They allow you to create multiple sites. So with the same account, you can create many sites. You can use your custom URLs. So this is really good as well. And then you have other options such as widgets and forms and even advanced forms in the Pro Plus. So this would make your website much more complex. So again, just to sum it all up, if you want a very simple website to use on your social media, make it have all your socials and all your information, this would be the way to go. And you can even do it with the free plan. Now, if you want something a bit more complex, you can go with the Pro plan or you can go with another website builder that is a bit more complex. So ease of use, this is one out of five. If you want to take a look at some examples. So they have some demos that I opened from their website. For example, this is like a landing page for a certain app. You can see it's a single page, some dummy text right here, and that's it. You have access to these socials here as well. And you can have one for a person. So here, for example, this person has this single page website, pretty simple, very small, and this one as well. So these are the kind of things that you can expect to build using card. Again, it's not the most complex, but it's the easiest option available. The next website builder is super.so. This one is really cool and very easy as well. Now here you can create websites with Notion. So Notion is a very popular productivity platform that is super flexible and has tons of features. In Notion, you can do things like take notes, plan tasks, have boards, to-do lists, everything. You can also store your own data in tables or what they like to call databases. And these databases can get pretty complex. So what Super does is it allows you to build your own website on top of Notion. And by doing so, you can build things like a personal portfolio, a blog, a landing page, things like that. And it can get pretty complex. So in terms of comparing it to the previous option, which was card, this can actually get way more complex than card does, but it's also still very easy to use. In terms of ease of use, if you already know Notion, because in that case, it's very easy, just package everything and put it on top of Notion. But if you're not familiar with Notion, I would rate this maybe 1.5 or two out of five, just so that you can get a bit familiar with Notion at first, and then you can build your website with Super. So you can build things like I said before, portfolio, landing page, even a blog. So this is a great option. Now we can take a look at the showcase here to see some examples. There's plenty of examples and you can choose the kind of website you want to see examples for. So if I say landing page, you can see we have these and it can get pretty complex. So it doesn't have to look like Notion. It doesn't have to be in black and white. As you can see, they can apply styles and designs to it. So it's really cool. Some examples I wanted to highlight, you can see this one is called Ascent and you can scroll and you can see this is a website totally built on top of Notion, which is super interesting. 
there is this one as well so this is called folio and as you can see the website looks great there's tons of designs here and you can even have a blog so like i said you can store your blog contents in notion you can write your blog post organize them in a content management system and then you can show them on your blog using super another one is this this is also a blog template and you can go here and see the different blog posts so super very easy to use and very friendly if you are already into Notion. Now, in terms of pricing, there are three different plans. You can have a free plan, so you would create your own site for free, like with Card. However, you would have to host on the super.site domain, so you can't use your own domain. And then if you want your own domain, you can go ahead and buy the personal site, which is $16 a month. Or if you bill yearly, Let's press on this it would be equal to $12 per month and there are different features you get with each for example the free site you would have the made with super badge which is like a watermark on your website however you can get rid of it if you get the paid plan so this is an idea of the pricing for the super.so service the next tool is Squarespace. So this one is very popular. It has been around for a while now. It's very straightforward and easy to use. In terms of difficulty, I would rate it as two out of five. Very easy to get started with, even if you're not really a tech savvy person or if you're not super into design and computers. You can build different kinds of websites with it. You can also build landing pages, blogs, and personal websites, but you can also go ahead and build things like e-commerce websites or maybe a website for reservations or bookings or things like that so it can get pretty complex much more complex than the previous options that we already talked about but it's still super easy to use and to get started with one of the main reasons squarespace is so popular with beginners is the ability to use templates so in squarespace you can find a ready-made template for basically anything so let's say i was a gym and i wanted to launch a website for my gym i wanted to include all the different information regarding my gym so what i would do is i'd go ahead search for a template regarding gyms a template for gyms on Squarespace and then I would use that fill in my information and done I have a website and I could probably make it in a day so you can take a look at the different things you can do they have a great website with tons of examples and things you can do there's templates for everything so stores e-commerce local business portfolio blog restaurant everything else you can even have a personal or cv website which is super cool we can check out some examples here so you can see these are all examples for a portfolio website if i press on store i get more examples for e-commerce websites so let's try this one okay, so this is so cool this was built with squarespace as well now regarding pricing so the pricing in this case there is no free plan you can have a free trial for 14 days but there's no totally free plan like in the previous two options so here you have for example the personal the business commerce and an advanced commerce plan each one of these has different features now you can start with the personal one or you can go ahead and with the most popular business one if you don't want to have a store where people can place orders and buy things you will not need the commerce plans again this all goes back to what you you need and what you want from your website now these are billed annually i think so if i change it to pay monthly they get a bit more expensive but it's up to you what you want to pay and which plan you want to go the for. the next website builder is framer now this one is relatively new on the scene but it's getting talked about a ton and rightfully so so the point of Framer is to get you to build a website as fast as possible. They market themselves as the maximum speed solution for you to build your website. Now, what you can build with Framer can get pretty nice. You can use Framer for both design and website building. So you don't need to use an external tool for design if you needed that. You can build very nice websites like you can see right here. There's an editor, you open it and you just drag and drop different things, add your assets and you're good to go. There is slightly more of a learning curve than there is with something like Squarespace so it is more complex than that. The reason is Framer was actually created as a competitor to Webflow rather than as a competitor to something like Squarespace so it's designed to be an easier version of Webflow. We'll talk about Webflow later on in the video but for now what you need to know is that Framer 
It's harder than things like Squarespace and the stuff we talked about, but it's easier than other very complex website builders. In terms of examples, you can take a look here at their March showcase. So these are websites that were built this month. They have awards awarding the best website or the site of the month award. They choose the best looking website, obviously. But as you can see, you can have a variety of different websites that you can create. And it's super cool and it enables you to build really nice things and very attractive looking websites sites relatively quickly compared to other tools like Webflow or the things we'll talk about later on in the video. I highly recommend Framer if you're just getting started but you're in it for the long haul so you want to learn how to build many websites, I would say Framer is the way to go. Now if you just want to build one website for yourself and then just totally forget about it, I would say go with Squarespace or any of the other websites that we mentioned. But if you want to learn a skill to build websites and then potentially maybe freelance or sell websites or sell templates or make them for people, then I would say Framer is the way to go. Very easy to learn in that regard and you can build really great looking websites with it. So to rate difficulty, that's three out of five. Now regarding the pricing, if we look here, you can see there are different plans. You can create projects with the free plan. So there is a free plan that you can use right here, but when it's time to publish it, you're not going to be able to publish it without paying for at least the mini plan. So these are billed yearly. So if you switch it out here, you can see the price for monthly. So this is about $10 a month if billed monthly or five if billed yearly. And now here you can create landing pages, things like that. You can apply your own custom domain and you can do the same with the basic plan as well. Now for the $30 plan, you would build bigger things. You can have a content management system. So you can have multiple blogs, create multiple blogs with Framer. In the basic one, you can create one blog with Framer, which is interesting. So you can take a look at the pricing, but as you can see, you can get started with the free plan and then upgrade as you need it. The next tool is arguably the most popular out of this entire bunch, and that is Webflow. So Webflow is super popular with basically everyone who has ever talked about no code. It's an amazing site that you can build virtually anything you want with. It's really cool. It has a built-in editor that is super nice. And if you know Figma, then that makes it even better because then you can export your designs from Figma into Webflow and you have a website. Now, there's plenty of things you can build with it. There are things like portfolio websites, blogs, even e-commerce, everything else. So there's tons of options that you can do. It's used by a ton of people, as you can see right here. And of course, it's zero code. In terms of the difficulty, I'd rate this at four out of five if you haven't used Figma before. If you have used Figma, then this would be more of a three out of five because it would be much easier to get started with Webflow. Now, if you are a beginner, there is a bit of a learning curve just to get started with Webflow. But the good part about it being popular is that there's plenty of tutorials and courses and resources online. Some examples, you can check out the Webflow showcase. There is plenty. So for e-commerce, you have these options. You can have the portfolio options as well. So there's plenty of stuff to look at. Very nice looking websites that were built with Webflow. And it's a really, really great tool. Now, like I said with Framer, if you are in this for the long haul, you want to be building different websites and selling them to clients and things like that. Then I also recommend Webflow for this because Webflow is really in demand as a skill. It's one of these skills that you can learn and easily monetize to make money off of it. In terms of pricing, there is a free plan as well so you can use that to get started with and start practicing your webflow skills and of course if you want to deploy your website you would have to use the webflow.io domain very similar to all the different website builders we already talked about now if you want your own custom domain you'd have to go for a basic plan for a blog you'd have to go for the cms plan so you can have 2000 cms items as you can see right here so maybe 2000 blog posts in your blog and of course, as you grow, if you have a big business or maybe even enterprise level, there are different plans for you. There are also some plans for e-commerce. So these are different, but these will help you if you have a store that you want to use Webflow to build a website the for. The sixth website builder is Bubble. Now, Bubble is also very popular in the no-code website builder space. You can use it to build many different things, but the use case that I really recommend Bubble for is not portfolio websites or blogs or things like that. It's actually different software as a service apps. So with Bubble, you can actually build web apps 
that are interactive and allow your user to perform different actions. So if you're starting a business and your business requires certain software, I would suggest that you go with Bubble to build this software without using code. It's really powerful in that regard, more powerful than the other alternatives that we talked about, although I'm sure Webflow is catching up in that regard. So to sum up, I wouldn't really use it for blogs or personal websites, but I would use it to build software and different web apps. It's also a skill that's in demand that you can actually learn and later on monetize and sell to others. So you can build bubble apps for people or bubble websites for people. So this is also one thing to note, especially if you're looking for a skill to learn. Now, in terms of templates, we can check out different examples of templates that you can use in your own bubble apps. So you can see here this one for project management. This is a dashboard with OpenAI as well. You can see a mobile PWA, so a progressive web app, things like that. So this is really interesting. Like I said, you can build different kinds of websites with it and different types of websites that you may not be able to build with other builders. The good thing about templates is that you can clone them and then you can go on and make changes to them, which makes the development easier. However, if I have to rate the ease of difficulty compared to everything else, this would be a four out of five, just like Webflow, because there is an editor, you have to learn how to use it and how to build these things with it. In terms of pricing, there's a bunch of plans. There is a free plan as well, but of course you can't have your own custom domain. So when it comes to publishing, you're going to have to use their domain as well as some bubble branding. So some watermarks, some footnotes saying that this was built with bubble. If you want to remove that, you'd have to opt for a paid plan. There is the personal, which is about $25 per month if paid annually, or if paid monthly, it's $29 a month. This allows you to have these different features. There's a professional, a production, and so on. So here it's really different. It's slightly more expensive, but because it comes with much more features, this is why it's more expensive than other alternatives. The final website builder that we have to talk about is WordPress. So this one has been around the longest. It has been around forever by now and is actually very overpowered. So you can build anything with WordPress. There's plenty of plugins, templates, everything you can think of that you can use with WordPress. Now, wordpress.org is a software that you can download for free to get started with building your websites. In terms of learning curve, it is the toughest one to work with. I would rate this at five out of five. Now, of course, this will depend on what you're trying to build with WordPress. Now, if you want to build something simple, it would be easier, but when compared with all these online editors that I already talked about, it is much harder and that's why I rate it at five out of five. In terms of examples, you can see plenty of examples and you can even go to Google and search for websites built with WordPress. Because it's been around for so long, there are plenty of examples and plenty of things that already have been built with WordPress. And in terms of pricing, so wordpress.org, like I said, it's a software, it's free to download and free to use. So as you get started with it and learning it, this is going to be free to use. What you need to pay for is your own custom domain names as well as hosting. So when you want to host a website, you want it to be available publicly on the internet, you will have to host it and this is something you have to pay for. There are also some options for free hosting. Essentially, when comparing this to the other builders that we talked about, there is no pricing in WordPress itself. Where do I recommend that you use WordPress? Again, this is something like Webflow or Framer. If you're in this for the long haul, if you're interested in WordPress as a skill, you want to monetize the skill, you want to be a freelancer who builds websites with WordPress, this could be a way to go. You can fulfill different client requirements, people who want you to actually build it in WordPress if you learn this skill. If you want to build your own website, then I don't really recommend that this is the way to go. As I said, it's insanely overpowered and it's really complex and you don't really need this if you're building a personal website or a blog. All right, so that's really it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found it useful. Do let me know in the comments which website builder you're planning on using or if you have other recommendations of website builders for the viewers. There are plenty of website builders out there. More and more are being born each year because this is definitely a trend that we're seeing. So do remain on the lookout for new tools that you can learn and use in your day-to-day -day life. Please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.